Hey guys, we're just out uh, walking our dock today, but it's pretty rainy out here. Um, so we're gonna show you a couple of cool activities, some stuff that we like to do in DC when it's raining. I'm excited. They supposed to have the biggest like, collection of artifacts for the spies. It's like a huge thing. Yeah, I think they have a, a either a replica of James Bond's Aston Martin in there, or it's like a uh, movie prop. But I'm pretty excited to see that. Yeah. So it's definitely a cool thing to check out while you're in DC, especially if it's raining. Uh, the weather here isn't exactly great most yeah. of the time, so the indoor yeah, activities definitely help. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you never know. It'll be 70 and sunny and then 30 the next day. Yeah. We're on the way, putting the GPS. <laughs> Excited about going to the Spy Museum. Are huge and these seems to be like having like different levels. So I always take a picture of the spot that I'm at so I can find the car so easy. Yeah, and if you're really tall like me, you gotta be careful with these things. They're like uh, <laughs> barely, barely above head height. So that's a, another tip if you're going public parking in these <laughs> You need to find the leader. <laughs> Yeah, we do have. We had to take this short to cut to get out of the rain. It's raining so much outside, so we try to avoid the rain over here. Going through the Lenfalm Plaza, and now we are in the first floor. I think we are lost. <laughs> oh, we're back to the garage. Yeah. We're gonna find our way out. <laughs> oh wow! Wait, we should be an elevator. What the heck? I think we have to go up those stairs. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. We went totally in the wrong direction. Oh, it tells you. Uh, no, there is signs too. Sign Here it we go. It tells you where the spy museum entrance is. What it's, is uh, it? <laughs> up the stairs. So the museum is right next to La Femme Plaza. It's kind of connected, so we have some lunch right now here. The Fun Plaza is like a food court that has different type of food. It's mostly like chain restaurants, mostly like Panda Express, Jamba Juice is here also. So you can find any type of food and it's right next to the museum. It smells good. I like ice cream too. Hey guys, we're about to go inside get our tickets. Uh, we got the spy museum right behind us. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and check it out. Rain right now. <laughs> we are walking to our tech house because we didn't bought the tickets online. So <laughs> when we got there, they said that we, that we have to wait until 5:45 to be able to get in the museum. So we're gonna kill some time in our tech house. I mean, it's really cool. <laughs> We always find a cool spot in this sea. <laughs> this is pretty cool. And uh, we've actually never been on this bridge before. This is the Southwest Waterfront Footbridge. It was built in 04 as part of the Mandarin Orientals development plan to connect that side of the hotel to the Southwest Waterfront. 
These little scooters over here are a really popular way to get around the city. Uh, I probably wouldn't advise it when it's raining. It might be a little bit too slippery, Anybody? but uh, they're still pretty cheap in comparison to like Uber or taxi yeah. or something like that. And it's a lot of fun. Yeah. You can also get the bike share too. It's all over the city and it's not too expensive either. I'm gonna put the link below. The only thing with the bike share is they only have three gears. So it's, uh, <laughs> it could be a little hard to pedal if you're used to using like a road bike or something like that. Exactly. So be careful. We're coming up on the Washington Marina now. Uh, this is pretty cool. It's like also probably one of the cheapest ways to live in the city. If you bought like a little houseboat and a boat slip, you could probably live downtown for, uh, I don't know, Midwest pricing. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's another option. So if you are looking for a boat slip for the marina, you can check it out there. Apparently uh, they have boat slips available right now. All right, so we are about to go to one of my favorite areas in the city. It's the wharf. There are so many restaurants and bars they in the city. They also have the largest fish market in D.C. Is that the wharf? Uh, so that's pretty cool too. If you want fresh seafood, it's right off the Potomac. So we're just leaving uh, Tiki TNT, the Southwest waterfront. We were out at the wharf. It was pretty cool. You know, very affordable for brunch in DC. You can get bottomless mimosas for 20 bucks. Uh, the food looked pretty cheap and they had big portions. So that's pretty cool. We're actually heading over to the Spy Museum now, which is gonna be awesome, I think. Yeah. But the Spy Museum is the biggest collection of spy memorabilia in the United States, or in the world, right? In the world. Actually, they have a Guinness. Yeah, they have a, a Guinness World Record for the largest spy oriented museum in the world. Exactly. Which is pretty cool. And like, uh, we've never been, but I know they have the James Bond car because I saw it when we walked by. I'm pretty excited about seeing that. Yeah. So we're heading over there. Uh, the rain calmed down a little bit. So that's good. All right, so it seems that there is just four sets of rules. She says no eating, no drinking, no chewing gum, and no flash when you're using your camera. You don't need to press anything? I guess not. Welcome to the International Spy your visit begins in the briefing center, where you will receive your undercover mission. Are you ready to enter the shadow world? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> So this part was really cool. Once you get out of the elevator, you get led over to these little like kiosks. You pick up your agent badge and then you get briefed on your top secret spy mission. The cool thing about this museum that we never seen before is like, it's super interactive. So we had a blast playing around with all the screens and all the civics. After you get your mission, they lead you into this really crazy room that's got like an ultra wide uh, movie theater kind of. And what they do is kind of tell you a bit of history about uh, spies and their purpose in the world. Um, and then you get to go and 
go through with your mission inside the museum. So this is one of the outfits from the first female spy on record, Mata Hari. Um, and she had a very short-lived career. Her, her spy career only lasted four hours before she got caught. This was a super interesting piece at the museum. It was actually like a, a piece of the underground tunnels under the old Soviet Union that uh, British and American forces built. Um, they were posing as uh, cable workers, I believe. Back then, electricity uh, installer. Special Corporal Eugene Kovalenko, U.S. Army Security this was a really interesting exhibit to me. This is back when they used to use like carrier pigeons, homing pigeons, uh, and they would strap these like high definition cameras at the time to their chest to go do uh, espionage work from an aerial view. This is a submarine that looks like a canoe. It's called Sleeping Booty. Beauty? Not Sleeping Booty. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Uh, like you could, basically they pilot like a kayak, but it uh, it goes like fully submerged underwater and they use it to plant and detonate bombs. So I'm gonna show you guys. Is this just for kids or is it for adults? Is it like a gray line? I think it's a gray line because that button's pretty high. The top button. Are you ready now? To grab a line. You get a strategy? Yes. I got scared. <laughs> if you didn't know, <laughs> we've got it. Read the first page. It was like fluffy. Figure out. As fluffy as it gets. Curly <laughs> This is the uh, uncrackable Enigma. It's pretty cool because uh, the German military was using this for espionage and they would change the cipher code every night. So if you didn't know the new code, it was pretty much impossible to crack. So this is the only Oscar I've ever seen in real life. It's pretty cool, it was given to uh, the movie The Battle of Midway, which was the first movie to depict actual combat on the silver screen. This is a replica of 007's Aston Martin. Uh, this thing is pretty sweet, and they definitely do not let you touch it or look inside too closely. At the end of the museum, we have this amazing gift shop. It's the last one. And if you enjoy our video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.